the Argol print is as classic and timeless as you can get. I've got my coffee here, my 7-Eleven coffee, and the first sip is always the best. I've already had my first sip. So today, my friends, I am going thrifting in my local hometown of Tukli, and I'm really looking forward to it, especially after having visited Toronto and seeing how obscene the prices were there. I feel just so lucky to be able to find such beautiful treasures here in my hometown where they only ask for a few bucks. You know, sometimes if I'm lucky, one dollar when they have the promotion in the salvos where you buy five items for under five dollars and you get them all for a dollar each. It's just amazing. Amazing the prices here compared to anywhere else. So why really would I go anywhere else? I love to venture out and you know check out other places and you know do a wonder and I love all that But when it comes to actually handing over cash for treasures, you just can't beat it here in Tukli So we are going to as I mentioned the salvos I hope the promotions on but even if it's not they usually have half price clothing and I do want to check out the one dollar racks in front of the church. So two places is just about all I can handle today. Anyway, let's stop rambling. I know I ramble a lot, but this is me. You know, what can I do about it? Not much, but I'll turn off the camera now and I'll see you guys there. right now because the lady that has her stalls outside the salvos is here today she always has some great little treasures so before we go into the salvos this is my first stop
guys, the promotion isn't on today, but it doesn't matter. It's half price of clothing, which isn't too bad. The only thing is I have to be very picky. So I just finished looking in the men's section and I found this black linen shirt. It's vintage and it's a size medium. So hopefully that will fit me. And then out of the corner of my eye in the skirt section, I haven't looked through it, but it was right at the front. So I grabbed it before anyone else had a chance to see it. It's this gorgeous tartan skirt in pure wool. I think it's made in Scotland, but I'll show you guys later. It's $30. But half price for 15 ain't too bad, but I got a feeling it's gonna be way too small. So I am going to start looking in the ladies section. The racks are absolutely packed. So I will show you as I find things. guys it is so busy out there and the racks are packed but I have a basket full of finds let's start with this bomber jacket it's by Katie's Bobby Brooks size 14 it's in this gorgeous tan color I think for a size 14 it fits me pretty well it's a polyester viscose blend it's made in Australia if I wanted to take this today it would cost me five dollars a really good price for a vintage item so I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile so this was another vintage item by Club Escape made in Australia it's a black shirt that I think you could wear as a jacket I'm not sure it will come down to three dollars these double pockets are not functional so they're not real pockets Pockets, and that's something I don't like. There is some very small shoulder pads. The sleeve doesn't have a cuff. There's no button detail except for these buttons down the front. So I think this one's a no. So this is a vintage Miller's classic wear acrylic argyle jumper. It's in a size 14 and I just love the color palette. This one will come down to $3. I really love this color palette. I think I'm gonna have to take this one. Okay, so this little vest had no label or care tag. Not sure if it's vintage and not sure if I like it. I love the texture, just not sure about the fit. Now I do have a vest that I love, so this wouldn't be for me, it would be for my shop and it's $3. So I'm not really sure about this one. This is another piece that has no label or care tag, but there were shoulder pads that have been ripped out, which leads me to believe that this could be vintage. It is a really nice cardigan, double front pockets, and I love this sleeve. I like the texture of the knit. So if I wanted to take this one, it is $4. Just one button and that's it. And I kind of like that. I think I want to take this one. I like it. I think it's kind of cute. Can you guys hear me? It is so loud in here. This one, I think I'm going to take. So this piece is by Paula Ryan, made in New Zealand. It's a medium. It's 100% wool. I think 
this kind of fitted top would look really nice with a voluminous pant or skirt. Okay, so try to visualize this top without the bra. So it's pure wool, as we mentioned. It's just got this mesh detail. It's very fitted, and I'm sure, you know, this will look beautiful on a very young, slim girl. It might do well on my shop, so it comes down to $4, but I'm not sure about this one. I'm pretty sure this skirt is vintage. I have not seen this label before. A tam petite size 16. It's made in the UK. So this one would be 250. I just really like the print. Okay, this skirt, you guys, is a little weird. I couldn't do the buttons up because they don't align. So there's a fault with this skirt. It is really pretty. And you know, a size 16, I mean, pretty much fits me you know, lower on the waist, which I don't mind. I really love button-down skirts. Oh, they're just so beautiful. What a shame about this one. All right, you guys, this is a reversible wrap skirt. So the paisley design was hanging, but I reversed it because I prefer this print, but I'm not sure about this silhouette. And there's no label. It just says polyester made in India. So I don't think so. This is a Miller's skirt, this tie-dye skirt but it's not vintage Miller's. And what's really weird is that it only has just one pocket, not two. It is big on me though, and it's not special, so no. Okay, this is another skirt with just one pocket, so perhaps it's by Miller's also, but I can't find a label at all. Another skirt with a one side pocket? What is going on? Did they forget, or is it intentional? I'm not loving it, it's not special. Okay, so this top is by Lily Loves. It's a size 20, you guys, but I'm gonna try it on because of this lace detail on the back. It's a polyester viscose blend. So it's not too bad. It fits kind of like a deep V tunic on me, doesn't it? And the back is just what I really love about it. So this is $2. I don't know, you guys. What do you think? Probably not, right? It's not special. Okay, this is a linen shirt, 100% linen by Sport 8. It's made in Australia, it's vintage, and it's a size medium. People can hear me out there and they think I'm a nutso lady. All right, so this shirt, although I found it in the men's section, it is a lady shirt, my friends, because the label Sport 8 is a line that Table 8 came out with. Table 8 was a corporate wear label, Australian label. Sport eight was their sport line so yeah this is this is vintage and you know i love vintage that is what i hunt for so i gotta take this and it's gonna be three bucks oversized nice collar just a great find you guys this is the tartan skirt it's a hundred percent wool made in scotland by anderson i can't read that glenshill wow it is a treasure find, but you guys, look at this waist. This is a young girl's skirt, so it's $30. It would come down to $15. If I had a young daughter, I would buy this 100%. It reminds me of the Burberry skirt that was in my video last week. That was $120. Bucks. And this, my friends, is my outfit of the day. A cute little t-shirt and blazer outfit. This tee is new. It's 100% linen by Witchery. I love this graphic. My blazer is thrifted and very old and only cost me a dollar. My jeans are H&M. They're a black vintage wash and I love them. They're so comfortable. And then of course I'm wearing my, my beloved high top Converse trainers. I love them so much. They are just the best, the best shoe ever invented. Oh, and my bag, this is a cute little bag that I'm wearing today. It was from TK Maxx, it only cost me 25 bucks. I love the shape, love that it's a crossbody, love the gold hardware, it's just such a cute bag. And that's my outfit for the day. Okay, you guys, I've decided against these items. So that Lily Loves top that was a size 20 is a no. I'm not going to take this wool fitted top with the mesh. I am not going to take this vest either. I am not going to take this vintage Katie's bomber jacket. And these are the items that I'm taking which I will talk to you about in the car. Okay, I just went and picked up the two items I bought earlier from the lovely lady outside the salvos. I've got to tell you guys, I'm a little bit annoyed there's this one woman in the salvos that always gives me looks and questions me on why I'm filming. I've only told them about a hundred times. 
that I have a YouTube channel but she just seems to be annoyed with me all the time and it makes me really uncomfortable anyway you guys I was in there for a long time it just takes me a really long time to film I get very tired and so I'm not gonna have enough time to go to another op shop so we'll go to the car and I'll show you the pieces that I found and then I will head on home because I'm absolutely starving in addition to being exhausted and anyway I'll, I'll see you in the car my friends let us discuss the items that I found today let's begin with the two items that I found from the lady that's outside the salvo store so this is a vintage short sleeve top now it's getting really blown out isn't it there's this beautiful pastel flower applique detail and I really love that I think although this is you know kind of matronly and even perhaps a tad daggy I want to challenge myself by making this look really modern and really chic so the label is by mean and it's a size medium it's hundred percent cotton and it's made in Thailand it does have shoulder pads hopefully I can just take those out my mum will take them out for me but I love the texture on this shirt it's just got a nice texture and I think it's gonna look great with blue denim the other item that I found was this shirt this striped shirt and it's by shirt league it's a hundred centimeters a large 100% cotton made in Pakistan so when I saw this shirt I thought of my mum because my mum is in dire need of some clothing I know that she will love this shirt I mean look at this pocket detail at the front I love that does it have another pocket on the other side yes I love a double pocket at the front but it's a black and white stripe really good quality hopefully my mum will love it okay so the first thing that I found in the Salvation Army was this gorgeous Fajan bag I really had no idea it was Australian I always thought it was American but it's a Fajan suede bag with this gold chain detail it's in really good condition I would say suede is such a hard material to maintain in you know great shape I consider it to be in pretty good shape the bottom is leather and look at the gold chain it's just beautiful it's not rusted it's beautiful and then you can also wear it long and it just will go like that on one side it's so pretty and then on the inside it's just black leather so it looks like it's in really good condition and the label says Fajan Sydney Australia genuine leather that is a treasure find so that was four dollars fifty so I got that what for two dollars twenty five anyway I spent a total of thirteen dollars in the Salvation Army because everything was half price so I think this is such a beautiful bag and I don't really have anything like this so what a find I also ended up taking the black linen shirt I love the white buttons it just gives it a little bit of contrast and is just a point of difference it's just a really good quali quality linen shirt and I love it I also ended up taking the vintage navy balloon sleeve cardigan with the one button at the front and the double pockets at the front also love the texture it's just a really beautiful silhouette and the final piece was the Argyle jumper by Miller's so cute it's so classic I think this is making a comeback actually I've been seeing it a lot on Instagram but I don't care about that because I don't follow trends I just love timeless classic pieces and the Argyle print is as classic and timeless as you can get my friends that is the end of this video I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me if you are a thrift junkie like me and you love vintage then please subscribe to my channel because I know a lot of you that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed and I get it I'm a commitment you know phobe as well all it is is just pressing that red subscribe button and it really helps me a lot 
there's no cost there's no you know spam emails coming to you it just helps my channel grow so I really hope you would consider subscribing to my channel click the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any videos from me because I do upload every Thursday but I'm trying to you know pop in an extra upload on a Sunday as well but anyway you guys that's all I got for you today I really hope that I see you guys in my next one